kisses. All right, a pleasant day to all of the listeners for today. Uh, if you've noticed uh, in all the series of interviews that we've been conducting for IELTS Einstein, we've been interviewing students who have performed magnificently, like all of those nines or 8.5s or 8s. <clears throat> but today, it's a, different, uh, it's a different case because we will be interviewing our strong uh, partners who, in a way, have helped the students achieve those impressive scores and of course the strongest among them is none other than <laughs> the great <laughs> British Council and we are interviewing one of our uh, closest business partners who is Mom Jessie de la Cruz uh, from Hi. British Council. Sigi Ma'am, Jessie, uh, do please introduce yourself <laughs> briefly ma'am. Hi, Sir Joni. Hi, everyone who are watching right now. So before I introduce myself, I just want to say thank you to Sir Juni and the rest of the I Einstein team for inviting us today to have this video collaboration. Because of course, we want to um, answer all your questions about IELTS test and how we can help you prepare for the test. So I'm Jessie, Jessie De La Cruz. Uh, I'm the Exams Account Relationship Manager for British Council and I've been working with the British Council for eight years, actually more than eight years because I started as an invigilator for what we all know as a proctor. And then, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then I started working as a as an exams marketing assistant. Later on, worked as a customer services assistant. Then became a customer services officer and complaints manager. I also spearhead. I also spearheaded the introduction of IELTS on computer tests, specifically in Baguio and Cebu. Um, oh. As the, as the assistant... She's been around, yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh -oh. As the assistant manager for Computer Delivered IELTS. And now, I am the exams account relationship manager. So, nakakatanda nakaka masyado yung introduction ko. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yes. <laughs> actually, actually so, what, what ran through my mind is like, she must have started as a teenager because she was so young. <laughs> I actually... <laughs> started as a part-time invigilator with British Council, so you know, I mm. a graduate na ako in college. So, okay. and the it's year, it's the looks that matter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. And uh, as you mentioned, ma'am, you are now the accounts relationship manager. So what is yes. that, ma'am? I basically handle uh, the, uh, the business development side of IELTS. I'm under the business development side of IELTS and I handle oh. partners like I Einstein. And yes. we also work on, of course, developing uh, IELTS and in introducing um, more services and products for our IELTS test takers. Of course, in coordination uh, with our IELTS partners. So mm. basically, ako yung makikita kapag may events with partners. <laughs> ako yung nag-handle mm. ng concerns on everything about IELTS from our partners. So there. <laughs> yeah, we have a, a very uh, close and stable relationship. Uh, uh, actually, we uh, one of the things that uh, Mom Jesse would be talking about are the various programs of British Council that are meant to aid the students uh, for their preparation for their IELTS exam, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So later we will go into that. Uh, and before that, uh, one of the questions that came up when I asked the students, uh, what is the burning question that you have <laughs> that you'd like me to ask for this interview with British Council? And then a lot of them did ask, what is British Council? <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, it kind of struck me like, okay, that's a good question. <laughs> Jessie. Usually, sir, whenever they hear about British Council, they immediately think about the embassy and they ask us if right, right, actually yeah. about are the you, visa concerns. Yes, but you are connected with the embassy, correct? We are connected with the embassy. But not actually, visa related. <laughs> but not visa related. We okay. are actually like mm. the embassy, we are under the British government. Um, oh. We are considered as one of the FCOs, but uh, unlike the embassy, kami naman po ay 
what you call the cultural envoy of the UK here, not okay. only here in the Philippines, but in all other countries where there is a British Council office. And um, our functions, depending on, are actually depend on the needs of the country. So okay. here in the Philippines, mainly the bulk of our work is uh, as an IELTS test delivery uh, okay. center or a, an IELTS test administrator, given that British Council is also, is a proud co-owner of IELTS. And okay. we also do projects on the education, society, and, uh, and arts sector here in the Philippines. So we oh, have see. different partners for in these categories. We partner with the government or in um, not uh, NGOs or private sectors to promote education, arts, uh -huh. culture of the UK here in the Philippines. So sa ibang oh. bansa naman sir, there are what we call teaching centers uh, where we offer English oh, yeah, I've heard classes. Of that. Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. because that's naman you that that's what the country needs naman. So we have these centers in um. Thailand, Malaysia, Malaysia, Singapore, China. Right. Okay, yeah. But here in the Philippines, um, wala pong ganun, but we have IELTS. So again, depending din po yun sa country. Mm, so, I see. Here in the Philippines, yun uh, yung role namin. Alright, so it's a government entity. You receive funding from the British government. And uh, primarily, it's really cultural, correct man? Um, we actually not really, sir. We also we have um IELTS for exams actually is on the commercial side. So mm, all right, I see. Okay, I see. Okay, I understand. Oh, so nice. It sounds so noble, <laughs> right? Yeah, you play your part in uh strengthening ties between countries. Exactly. Right? So. I see. Okay. All right, and we will now proceed to British Council as an IELTS entity. Mm. So, of course, you are a administrator of the IELTS exam, a co-owner, correct, man? That's correct, right, sir. And that means that you do frequently administer the exams. That's correct. Uh, especially in today's times, like with the cookie to deliver, that's practically every day, correct? Man? Yes, sir. All so, right, so that's busy. <laughs> We are lots of work. Sir. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, here in the Philippines, actually globally, naman po, we conduct two types of tests: test method, um, test formats. We have IELTS on computer and IELTS on paper. So IELTS on paper is the more traditional way of taking the test. So it's via mm -hmm. pen and paper, while IELTS on computer, naman po, is done via computer, and um, this is for. Uh, candidates po, who are very much tech savvy. Um, right. and Ma do uh, sidebar, test. like yes. you launched Computer Delivered, Baguio and Cebu. When was this? We launched Manila, Baguio and Cebu about uh, three to four years ago, sir. Oh, really? Uh, it's been so that it's, long? It's, yeah. Oh. But, uh, it's, it's, like, technically it's like you new. foresaw COVID coming in a number of years. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about time we launched it three years before the onslaught of COVID. Actually, sir, yeah. I mean, we did not foresee COVID at all, but yeah, nobody did, it right? Was, yeah. But it was timely. Very timely. Very timely. Very timely. Years ago. And um, since it's launched, it has become an in demand exam. So we yeah. are actually aiming to expand it. And from even more, yeah. Yes, that's right. So from three locations, which are Manila, Cebu, and Baguio, we now okay. have nine locations. So we wanted to make sure that it's very accessible to all of us. Okay, could you outline the nine locations man, for the sure. for the sure. information of the students? All right. What so, are the other? So we had three already. In Manila alone, sir, we have about. Um, three, that's three, three locations. Right. Yeah. Um, we have one in BGC. Yeah. No, sorry, that's four locations, sir. That's oh, one okay. in BGC. That's the that's the oldest. It's the first I uh, IOSM computer location ever. That's in mm -hmm. the curve. We are actually in front or right beside uh Saint Luke's Saint Medical Luke's. Center, yes. and that's our yeah. office. 
That's in UGC. Yeah. And the second one is in Pasay. That's STI Pasay EDSA. Uh, okay. Third one is in Pasig City in Ortigas. That's in MFI Polytechnic University. That's actually a couple of blocks mm -hmm. away from Medical City. And the Ooh. last one here in Metro Manila is in Quezon City. That's Systems Plus College. And then okay. in Luzon, we have already two. One in the north, that's Baguio City. Uh, the venue is Pines International Academy. Uh, wow. That's an ESL school. And the newest one that they actually recently launched just two months ago is in Naga. And that's in Ateneo de Naga. Right. Uh, he, uh, in the Visayas area, we have yes. one in Cebu. That's mm -hmm. in Cipils, C-I-P-I-L-S. And uh -huh. uh, that's in Cebu City naman po. And down south in Mindanao, we have Dipolog in Zamboanga. That's okay. under care, like uh, care immigration services. So that's all nine locations, sir. Mm -hmm. and, ah, sorry, I forgot another one that's in Luzon. That's in Pampanga, Systems okay. Plus College, Angeles City. So four mm -hmm. in Metro Manila, three in Luzon, one in uh, Visayas, and one in Mindanao. So that's a total of nine mm -hmm. locations. And Stay tuned because we're yes. launching more locations real soon. So, baka po tomorrow, pagising niyo, may bago na naman tayo. <laughs> I was just going to mention, we do have a lot of students from CDO, for example. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes, the sure, island sure. of Panaya has a lot of students in Bacolod. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be, of course, isa po kayo sa unang mga kaalam yun, sir. Yes, yes. If oh, ever man. magkaroon po. So, just stay tuned and... um. Again, maybe next time we have one in Davao, in Tugayan, or even in Batilo, right. and in other locations nationwide. Right. Yes, ma'am. So, British Council certainly, I don't know if that's, it's the right word to use for it, you certainly encourage students to take the CDP, Computer Delivered Test, mm. owing to the call of the times. Uh, exactly, sir, because um, for IELTS on Computer, for IELTS on computer, it actually has lesser people. Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it's actually easier to conduct given that, you know, IATF guidelines limit um, number right. of people in a gathering. And oftentimes, yes. since sa IELTS on computer, we only have about 10 to even 10 to 15 candidates in one sitting. So it's easier Can to imagine. conduct. And it's not... Yeah. And it's not prone to cancellation. Uh, the second mm -hmm. one would be for some candidates who actually prefer to take the test with headsets or in a right. much conducive um, yeah. venue, ganyan, yeah. kung tech sabi sila, they can do IELTS on computer. And the third one naman po is that the results are released faster compared to IELTS on paper. Uh, yeah. For IELTS on paper, focus the results are released 13 calendar days after the test. While for IELTS on yeah. computer, naman, it's just within three to five calendar days Can after the like test. So those who are in a hurry, this is the best option for yeah. them. Um, yeah, and the last yeah. one, pala, ito na talaga pinakala, sir. It's much it's more you know. convenient. <laughs> Kasi yeah. mas flexible po yung schedule. So in Manila alone, we conduct the test seven days a week, even on Sundays or even on Correct. Mondays with about two and to three sessions in a day. So oh they have more Oh my God, two to three options. sessions in a day. A yes, morning, yes. afternoon, and evening. And session. evening. <laughs> okay. Yes. Basta po, papayagan kami sa curfew, may evening session po kami. So All imagine right. that. Yeah. Kasi sir, you know, the, um, most of the candidates nowadays do not have the regular schedule, sir, of a nine to five desk work. So others actually Correct. have very erratic schedule, and um, yeah. compute the uh, IELTS on computer is giving them more options on scheduling their IELTS desk, which will be, of course, based on their availability. So right. that's why right. um. 
most candidates now, they prefer IELTS on computer over IELTS on paper. Although, mataas pa rin po talaga ang demand ng IELTS on paper. Especially mm -hmm. in provinces and even here in Manila. All right. A gun the days, of course, that like when I took my IELTS, that was like a hundred of us in a venue in one ballroom. And then there was a second ballroom with another hundred students. Exactly. Yeah. There was even a time when we conducted the test in one day that's over 500 candidates. And oh we, my had, God. <laughs> we had to get the biggest venue ever. And, oh, um, wow. That was fun. That was actually a good memory. It was a but then fun, again, yeah. yes, sir. But then again, medyo mahirap po yan ngayon given the pandemic. Yeah. So, right. um, venues are capacities very limited now. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna miss those days. <laughs> okay. I guess the obvious, oh, man. It, it's funny in a way, right? Uh, yes, I mean, yes. we all miss those days like watching all the stadiums filled with people. Yes, yeah. exactly, sir. No. Yeah. yeah, the world has changed so quickly. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm sure the listener has a top of mind question, which is where do they get uh, resources to study up for the CDT, the computer delivery? Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, sir, we have myriads of uh, review materials for all of wow. our test takers, not only for those who will be taking the IELTS on computer test, but also for IELTS on paper test. All because right. basically, okay. these two tests are the same. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the only difference is, of course, the mode of testing. So the other one is via paper, while the other one is via computer. Um, just to answer first your question on IELTS on mm -hmm. computer, we have specific... Mm -hmm. Um, materials for IELTS on computer and um, these materials aim to help them be more familiar with the um, the navigation of the system because yes. yeah. oftentimes when candidates ask us like what's the main difference or yeah. how will it affect my performance um how do we navigate the system, etc. So um, it's not about the difference of the test action. It's really okay. about on getting more familiar with how the system is being navigated. That's correct, sir. So we okay. have actually tons, uh, we have actually materials for that and it's found on www.ieltsasia.org slash ph. And these, we have um, tutorial videos on discussing the different features of the system. We also uh -huh. have practice materials that they can actually use immediately. Um, limit, limited really? number of questions on the only. But we have what we call computer delivered IELTS familiarization test. And this okay. is actually sir, an actual simulation of the computer delivered IELTS test. They will undergo the written test, the listening, reading, and writing test. And um, once they, after they have taken it, they will immediately get results for their listening and reading tests. Wow. So, yes. Yeah, so, that's um, so they, computerized. Yeah. <laughs> that's so computerized, right? Yeah. So, they only need an internet connection, sir, and a laptop where they can do that. No more registrations. They simply need to create or read, uh, they simply need to create the account and then they can already take the familiarization test. May it be mm -hmm. academic or general training. Mm -hmm. So right. if you want, so you can also try it. So because I know that there are a lot of your students yeah, who I've never tried IELTS on computer. computer. Yeah. So I can share with you the link so that you and your students can try it. So you'll actually know what it needs All right. taking the okay. IELTS on computer test. Sir. Yes, we'll share um, the link down below. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, www.ielsasia.org.ph for the familiarity. Slash ah, slash yes. dot yes. org slash th. Okay. Don't yes. worry, guys. Yes. Link's gonna be below. Okay. <laughs> I see. Yes. Um, but uh, uh, if I may share, Mom Jesse, like a lot of our students have taken the computer delivered, the CDT, and uh, you know, the feedback we've been receiving from them is that the CDT is superior to the written test in all aspects, in all respects. Everything is easier than computer delivered. 
<laughs> well, okay, ako, so, sir, I personally prefer mm-hmm. iOS on computer just because I'm tech savvy. But mm-hmm. some people yeah. talaga, they prefer, you know, writing on a paper and circling right. words, etc. So, they're much, yeah. I mean, they yeah. can choose whichever is much more comfortable for them mm-hmm. whenever they take the test. So, okay. You know, I see. Um, but navigating the, like I did ask that question with the students as well, like navigating the software, it's really hmm. quite self-explanatory. Yes, Common sense. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. And it's, and it's flexible to the point of the candidate's preference because they can even adjust the font size, the screen mm. color, etc. So, oh, really? Um, Yes, because it's really like a reading on. passage. They can make it bigger on a screen. Yes, they can actually, yes. sir. Mm-hmm. They can even highlight it. They can even mm-hmm. put notes um, on right. the writing parts of the test. They no longer need to count it in to count the words individually. Yeah, incredible. Count. It's a yes, word count. So, yes. Ayun, sir. So it's everything... easy to delete an entire paragraph if you want to, <laughs> or move it somewhere down. You, it's hard to do that in a, in a paper, exactly. uh, paper-based test, correct, yeah. Yes, yeah. and everything is done by a computer, so they need to just follow, of course, what the test supervisor says and what the computer mm-hmm. dictates. My timer din dun sa computer, so they don't mm-hmm. need to actually look for um, clocks yeah, or timer clock. inside the test venue. Mga yeah, because so, yeah. as we know, we are not allowed to bring any watch or electronic device yes. into the venue. <laughs> okay, That's I see. Right. And right. then like, I was told like, uh, like if, if there's a certain time limit to each, like two minutes left, there's now a flashing mm. red, yes, whatever. They are informed <laughs> the monster. May kita okay. talaga nila yung sa screen nila. So, if they mm-hmm. want to know more about it talaga, they need to um, try, huh? fa- yeah. try yung computer familiarization test. Otherwise, we also have scheduled computer delivered IELTS orientation and walkthrough. Um, okay. Actually, we finished one last Saturday. Yeah, October yeah, yeah. There was one this last Saturday. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And we have upcoming sessions on, let me just triple check, sir. We have upcoming sessions on November 13 and December 11. November 13 and yeah. December 11. Okay. Yes, sir. So and that's uh, from 10 a. That's right. That's from 10 a.m. till 12, 12 12.30 p.m. And everything mm-hmm. about IELTS and IELTS on computer will be discussed. They will also be given uh, homework after the really? orientation. The homework Aww. is basically them to undergo the IELTS compu- uh, compu- computer fami- computer delivered familiarization <laughs> test. Parang okay. ano na siya, full package. So na-orient ka na, meron ka pang take-home na activity. Uh-huh. This is a least, free walkthrough. Yes, that's for free. All they need to do is to register, sir. I actually sent mm-hmm. you the invites na. Uh, yes, you can yes. share that to your candidates and they can yeah. register if they want to. So I Josh earlier for those, might be a good idea to remind yes, sir. Them November yes, 30th. Yeah. Yes. This, right. this is open to everyone. Everyone, kahit hindi pa register, kung iniisip pa lang nilang mag-take ng exam, mm. they can actually... Still join it. Join that. It's mm. absolutely free for everybody. Okay, I see. This will this be happening monthly? Do you anticipate, Mom Jesse? Um because we had October, November, and December. Is this right. really a standard feature already? We we might do we this might? monthly yeah. sir, and right. we might have sessions open to everyone from all locations. We can do it exclusively for let's say Einstein candidates if you have a big batch mm-hmm. of candidates who are interested in IELTS yeah. computer we might be scheduling it per location as well because again we have nine locations for IELTS on computer so right, right. stay tuned um, we will be informing you of your schedule too sir if sir kayo sa Einstein you already want to mm-hmm. schedule a private or an exclusive session you can do that as well yes yes correct man yes um, uh, you know, I do get a lot of feedback from some students that they are not really that good in typing, but for the benefit of everybody, 
I tell you, you're faster at typing than writing, whatever that speed is. <laughs> I mean, you do Facebook, correct? So, <laughs> I'm going to show you. Kind of <laughs> anyway, Alexa, I mean, yes. even just for the safety of it, right? And that's already a, a significant advantage, mm, right? That's right, sir. Yeah. But then again, um, isipin na lang nila kung saan sila mas comfortable. So, okay. All right. In the, in the final analysis, yes. Mm. And of course, uh, since we talked about CDT, then what we have to watch out for now is the home-based test, which we just had a seminar on. And that's going to be big. So today is October of 2021. When do we anticipate this to happen? Um, like first quarter then- next year, I was told. Right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. First quarter next year, sir. But again, stay tuned for more details about it. So. All right. Okay. Yeah. Just watch out for that in the meantime. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> oh my God. We don't need one in CDO exactly. or we don't need one in Bacolod or whatever. We just do it from the comforts of home. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, uh, ma'am, other. Uh, benefits that IELTS test takers mm. will receive from British Council. Yes, ma'am. Let's go through the gamut of it. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the first one would be what we call Road to IELTS. It's an online material that is automatically given to uh, all our candidates who would like to take the IELTS test. We also, for those naman po who are taking UKVI, we also have what we call UKVI gel. That's the equivalent yeah. of gel. Um, mm. That's the equivalent of um, Road to IELTS. It's also a free online review material automatically given to all the candidates. Uh, for okay. Road to IELTS, per se, sir, um, they can immediately get the access once they register and then they mm-hmm. will be able to get or to have or to experience it by uh, through the interactive questions, quizzes, etc. They would also help them gauge their um, ability for test skills. So listening, reading, and writing mm-hmm. and speaking. Then there are, it's also so like available. So they go to an actual listening, reading. Yes, yes. They, okay. Yes, and they will also see um, videos of tips and techniques. In yan, mm-hmm. tapos your um, it will expire on the day of the exam. So. All right. Yeah. Okay. How early can they get this? As early as they want. As like, early as yeah. uh, as soon as they register, actually. As so soon as if, they register. If they register okay. today for a test a month from now, they will immediately get their road to IELTS uh, mm. access. Okay. And this is still at IELTSAsia.org slash huge. Yes. If Correct. they want to know yes. more information about it, it's also on our website. Otherwise, um, kasi pag nag-register sila, pag nag-register sila, sir, they will automatically be... Uh, they will automatically have an online account. That's the registration right. profile. Where okay. they will see everything from their regist- test details up until their results. So it All will right. already include their road to IELTS review material and they can access it in their registration profile. I see. So, uh, uh, what's around how many LR tests do they get for that? Generally? Um, actually, the... Um, Maybe five or... More than that. I don't so. remember my road to IELTS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that was like uh, 2017. There are a lot a of yeah. listening a lot. materials okay. also, sir. Um, mm-hmm. Writing material, ri- writing test materials um, available okay. in road to IELTS. Um, I believe they will also be, uh, they will also be given a measure of their, um, listening, reading, writing, and speaking abilities. So it would help them assess how ready they, how ready they are to take the test also, what mm-hmm. are the things that we need to work on or improve on. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's why um, we thought of, of course, you know, including this in, uh, in the registration materials of the candidates because we want mm-hmm. them to take the test only once. The yes. year, so that's For the very last important. Time. That's right. They get feedback on their speaking performances. Did I hear that right, Pam? 
Um, no, this is they, another... they just get a sample of, yeah. Yes, they oh, would get it's another benefit. to have, yes, it's another benefit. I mean, there's another okay. um, service that we actually offer and we call for speaking tests. Um, we, have, we, we have what we call IELTS Speak Up and uh, okay. IELTS Speak Up is a one-on-one -on -one assessment of an IELTS expert. Uh, they will experience an actual simulation of the speaking test. And after that, they will be given a feedback from the IELTS expert and they can also ask their burning questions to that IELTS mm -hmm. expert. It's a 30 minute um it's a 30 minute assessment or interview or session right. with an IELTS expert. It it's valued at 2099 pesos. But okay. currently we have a promo for all of those mm -hmm. candidates who will be taking the test up until November 30, 2021. Uh they all oh, they November simply, 30. Yes, they simply need to key in the promo code, which is IELTS speak up, I-E-L-T-S. S P E A K U P. So that's IELTS Speak Up. If they want to um, get the free 30 minute IELTS Speak Up session. So but this uh, this application is also in the IELTS Asia .org yes, slash. Yes, sir. PH it's also concept. found okay. in our Facebook page, which is IELTS British Council Philippines. Okay. Facebook page. Don't worry, yes. links down below. I'm just writing yes. it down. <laughs> okay. And um, yeah. ayun, sir, if they want to work on their speaking ability. Otherwise, meron din po kami available na apps which are actually free. So if okay. they want to work on their speaking and listening skills, they can download IELTS Prep app. Uh -huh. uh, they, it's available on Android and um, App Store. Uh, yes. we if they want to broaden their or work on their vocabulary, we also have okay, IELTS up. Word Up, uh, Word IELTS Word Up, yeah. So that's word their up. program for vocabulary. And another one, which is an exclusive again from British Council, is what we call um English Score. So it's a, it's an app with a mm -hmm. forty minute test. So if let's say a person wants to gauge uh, their English ability, they can download IELTS, uh, sorry, English score. Um, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they will be based on different types of tests like grammar and vocabulary. I see. Um, yeah, reading and then listening. Okay. So, not um, necessarily for the IELTS, but for English in general. Exactly, sir. But it All can right. help assess. <coughs> their English ability and to know English. how prepared they are to take the IELTS test. And um, okay. for some people, sir, they act, because we have um, the paid, uh, I'm sorry, we can issue a certificate mm -hmm. from the English for, from the English for app. It's paid nga lang, but okay. uh, if they really want to have a certificate of course showing their English ability, they can do that. And some people do really? that to show sa employer oh, really? nila or sa school their English ability. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, they can do that sure, if they want to. But then again, um, unlike IELTS, English 4 is simply an English assessment test. Uh, sorry, it's, oh, it's, okay. it's a simple test to gauge a person's ability. That's not, it's not really part of, uh, unlike IELTS, it's not really recognized by Right. Um, yeah. organization. So, it's parang pang dagdag sa resume. Right. Yeah. Sa... Like my English score is 100 out of 100. Something like that. <laughs> based on English score app. Ba from based Council, on the English score app. This is yes. my English ability. So, merong okay. certificate yan, sir, that they can actually mm -hmm. pay for. And we'll issue Ooh. that. So, I see. You show it to a call center. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no okay. answer. Yes. <laughs> Unless to sabi nila, they need to take their IELTS test, of course. <laughs> okay, bummer. <laughs> All right. Uh, you mentioned the prep app, man. Mm. So this is for the IELTS preparation. Yes. Um, it's it is more <laughs> focused on the listening and speaking part of the test. So I okay. believe some candidates must gusto nila na 
or they are worried about their speaking skills. So right. I want, lots, aside, lots, yeah. aside from taking IELTS speak up and of course your tutoring, your mentoring, Sir Juni, they can yes, also yes. get um, tips and techniques from IELTS Prep Hub, which is okay. also free to download. So do they get like uh, uh, a, a list of speaking questions that uh, like most likely would come out or something like that? Actually, so random, random, you know, then most, random uh, in yeah. general, okay. tips and techniques. You, you never know one of them might come out, right? Yeah. Actually, yes, sir. <laughs> I yeah, myself yeah, yeah. have taken the test twice and I was never prepared to any question that they've given me. But uh, the right. questions are of course, more on about the everyday life, ganyan. So they don't okay. need to worry about you know not being able to answer the questions. Kasi right. Okay. Definitely, they can relate to it. IELTS prep app. Okay. Yes, uh, that's IELTS <laughs> prep app, and um, we also have uh, right. a lot mm -hmm. of review resources from our app. Uh, sorry, from our website, ielsasia.org slash ph. Um, mm -hmm. We have IELTS Essentials. Meron pa nga IELTS Bingo. It's basically a collection, bingo. I, um, a collection of review materials where they can actually, uh, in one document, where they can actually, like, for example, we suggest you to do this on this day and then you do this on another day, etc. So basically, so nice. it's like they're completing a bingo card. Uh, oh, wow. And, uh, they're actually That's so much fun. Are the, by accomplishing all the um, suggested require, um, test practice or practice okay. material on that day. So we have that and then we have another one, IELTS Essential. Again, it's a collection mm -hmm. of all resources that that they can check for their IELTS preparation. So aside mm -hmm. from that, we also have webinars on a monthly basis, sir. So aside okay. from the aside from the computer delivered IELTS test walkthrough, we also have webinars that our global global team conducts um okay. monthly. This, is this monthly a monthly yes monthly yes okay. monthly sir but there mm -hmm. are several webinars done in a month so and because mm -hmm. the topics vary from let's say all four skills to um mm. to what to every topic related to one component so for example mm -hmm. there might be Dash one, one or dash two for writing. Yes. Something so, like magkahiwala right. yun. Or I see. tips and techniques on speaking. Um, and then reading and listening. Mga ganyan. Sir, um, sometimes may reading um, FAQs. Uh, most commonly mm -hmm. asked questions. Ganyan. So, these are absolutely free. They can check our Facebook page for mm -hmm. the schedules and the topics. So, whichever topic they're interested in, they can actually register and join the webinar. So, it's absolutely okay. free. So, um, if they have time, <laughs> please yeah. do join these webinars. And so, to update delivered... themselves on when these webinars are, yes. they just got to log into the page. Okay. Yes, that's right. I and see. these are done by IELTS experts. Um. Good thing mm -hmm. about it also is that if you have questions about IELTS and also tips and techniques, they can actually do that during the webinar. They can. Okay. I see. And are they necessarily examiners? Or we never can tell. The ones These are traders, sir. IELTS mm -hmm. trainers um, who okay. are um, who have expertise in the IELTS field. All right. Okay. Uh, the apps are uh, IELTS Prep app, IELTS Word app, and English Core. And through the yes. web page, you have IELTS Bingo, IELTS Success Essentials, and for registrants, IELTS they sir. get uh, IELTS Essentials. Yes. Correct. Sir. All right. Correct. And for registrants, they get Road to IELTS. Mm. And don't forget to yung computer delivered familiarization ah, test. And the computer delivered familiarization test, which happens monthly. 
And oh my God. That's the walkthrough, okay. sir. That's the walkthrough. That's ah, the, orientation. The walkthrough, but the fact the walk yes, yeah. the fact right. test is available on our website. You can take it anytime. I see. That's a lot of support. <laughs> uh, speak up. We haven't even mentioned speak up. So up to November. That's free up until no free. Uh, if they take the test until November 30. Okay. Speak up is free up until November 30, but beyond that, it's going to be at 2099. That's right. And we also have oh. a promo code for that. So make sure that they key in the promo code so they could get the benefit. Mm. If they don't put the promo code, um, hindi po nila makukuha yung free speak up session. Okay. So it'll be a good idea for those who are targeting good scores in speaking to at least schedule a speak up before their actual speaking exam. Yes, sir. They can take it before. Because it's like a simulation. That's okay. right. That's right. A simulation of the actual thing. Yes. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I've run out of paper. Okay. I hope I know I did not uh overwhelm overwhelm you with all these information i wanted to tell everything but you might run out yes of yes but yeah do overwhelm us now yeah. <laughs> that's all right yeah so uh yeah in the comment section below we'll make sure to organize it all correct now yeah yes all yes right. i'll send you the link sir. okay uh ma'am why is there a confusion between UKBI and academic? I still hear that talk going around. So it's academic for the nurses, for example, right? For the UK. It's okay, academic. So, yeah. Um, there are actually two type, three types of IELTS tests. We have okay. uh, regular, that's what most mm -hmm. candidates coined it. We have the standard or regular IELTS oh, okay. test. We have mm -hmm. IELTS for UKVI and IELTS type skills. So IELTS for mm -hmm. UKVI is specifically needed for those who are bound to the UK if specified, specifically for visa purposes. And for IELTS life skills, these are mostly taken by candidates who are planning to um, get family family visa or spousal visa going to the mm -hmm. UK. Um, standard IELTS naman po are, is accepted by all countries. Actually, IELTS for UKVI is also accepted um, in other countries. It's just that if, let's mm -hmm. say, you're bound to the UK and they specifically tell you na kailangan mo IELTS for UKVI, then you need to take IELTS for UKVI. Um, mm -hmm. In some professions, I think, like for nurses, uh, or yeah, healthcare for professionals, NHS yeah. already mentioned that they all are also accepting IELTS tests. And um, some nurses, well, most nurses, they take academic tests because... Uh, this is the test module for those who are seeking um, professional development or profession um, uh, accreditation in professional boards and also for right. study purposes. But then again, um, unless specified... So what is the UKVI? So you, UKVI, it's for? another type of test. Again, mm -hmm. it's for... For mm. those who are bound to the UK, fifth years ago, um, mm. NHS only accepts IELTS for UKVI because UKVI simply means UK visas and immigration. Up until mm. now, IELTS for UKVI is necessary, uh, is a requirement if they want to get um visa, like working mm. visa in the UK. Right. Um, but then again, they have NHS has released a new set of okay. IELTS requirement, adding mm -hmm. standard IELTS as one mm -hmm. of the accepted English tests. So now I nurses see. can take either IELTS or IELTS for right. KVI, whichever mm -hmm. is actually mandated mm -hmm. by their agency or by their employer. So they already have oh, a I choice. See. But then again, hindi po kasi si British Council or even Einstein, the review center, who would tell yeah. them what type of right. test they need to take. They need mm -hmm. to go back to their recruiter, their agency, or their employer, mm -hmm. which 
type of IELTS test they need. To take. Right. So, I see that um, clear so, top. Yes, it's mm. IELTS and IELTS for UTVI are the same, sir. They also the have academic tests. and general mm. training tests. They even yeah. have the same prep materials and even the kind of tests that we release every time. The only mm. difference is that ayun nga po, UTVI is if if specifically mentioned, it's only yeah, accepted oh, in the UK. Uh, I mean, okay. it's it's mandatory in the UK. But let's All say... Right. But I the UKVI is more expensive. So, why? Yes, sir. I mean, <laughs> uh, unless, of course, the, the agency requires it or the institution exactly, requires sir. it. Um, okay. Yeah, if mm -hmm. let's say... Kunwari ako, I took IELTS for UKVI and um, I'm bound to the UK, required ako doon. But then I changed my mind. I want to go yeah. to Canada. Um, mm. IELTS for UKVI is still accepted in Canada naman. So as long uh, as, of course, they fulfill the band score requirement, the, the right. current module, ganyan. Mm -hmm. So, ayun, sir. Okay. To answer your question, sir. Um, yeah. uh, the price naman po is being set globally. So, um, uh, kaya we only follow, of course, what has been globally set. So, mm -hmm. okay. One of the All things right. na iba din po ng IELTS for UK VI versus standard IELTS is the um, how it's being conducted. And one of the major things na iba is that during the listening uh, during the written test and the speaking test um it everything is video recorded yes. okay. like with IELTS yeah. speech, uh, video recorded so yeah i see i wonder why yeah you know i took uh, uh, that was a time it was required yeah 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 it's required yeah. by the uk uk visas and immigration to mm, have okay. the test recorded so we need to comply with that requirement all right okay so for nurses who are confused, what they should do is to contact their agent. Well, That's right. right. Yes, sir. I yes. see. Right. Uh, but generally speaking, as long as they take the regular IELTS, they're generally like that. That's acceptable to most everything, right? It's, for the UK. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I see. All right. Okay. Uh, short question and examiner. Hmm. So, who are these people? Because I get that a lot. Who are the examiners? Yeah. Uh, examiners are individuals who are actually hmm. been um, trained uh, at par with the IELTS standards uh, to conduct or to hmm. sorry to um, assess the the test or uh, the written and speaking parts of the test uh, sorry the speaking part of the test they are actually the ones who are conducting the interviews and they are the mm -hmm. ones gauging the speaking ability of the test takers so are they uh, the same people for the writing um we have a different pool a different of team. IELTS examiners, okay. uh, global and regional examiners who actually okay. do the written tester or manage oh. to assess the written test oh, and these are different from uh, the local and regional uh, speaking test examiners i see all right and they should be they should have been like experienced teachers or educators or yes. stuff like that yes yeah. sir well um, Depends on the need. In the field of language education or language yes. teaching. Whatever. Yes, exactly, yeah. sir. When, mm -hmm. when, we, when there is a need and we recruit examiners, there are certain qualifications that they need to fulfill prior to them being shortlisted uh, mm -hmm. to undergo interview. Um, the requirements include ESO, CELTA, etc. and all other mm. educational background and certifications mm -hmm. that actually show they are competent in, to right. become an IELTS examiner. And um, okay. if ever they will be shortlisted, uh, they will need to undergo interview background check, just like a normal uh, mm -hmm. recruitment process. And then right. once they are recruited, they undergo, uh, if I may say, extraneous training. Um, okay. 
yeah. to make sure that they are at par with the IELTS standards and they mm. will practice based on IELTS partner, uh, IELTS guidelines and regulations. So mm. yeah. all right, okay. Uh, <clears throat> that brings me to the next question. So, if the examiners are such experts or highly qualified, then uh, what is now remarking so students can still question the evaluation of these examiners, correct? Um, the remarking yeah. is an option given to candidates who they feel um, after who are, let's say, not satisfied with the scores mm -hmm. that they actually received. Um, yeah. made uh, in in one or more of the test um, mm -hmm. test components. So it's an option right. that they can they can actually avail if they feel like um, if they are not satisfied with the scores right. that they receive. And um, okay. the remarking is actually done by our global remarking team. I, I, it's a pool of senior mm -hmm. examiners, way different from mm -hmm. the ones. Um, that right. are actually conducting the actual interviews I or see. the actual assessments. And um, whenever candidates request for that, uh, mm -hmm. their answer sheets or recorded interviews are sent to the UK for the senior examiner to reject it. And there are no other oh, factors that they the consider. Yes, there are, there are no other factors oh. that they consider in um, giving them remark scores other than the questionnaire and the the answer sheets and the interviews mm -hmm. that were sent. To so them. that's another advantage to com computer delivered because everything is on computer, so it will be easier to ship, right? I mean, it's just the internet, <laughs> right? <laughs> like the writing yeah, it's, output, a, right? it's, yeah. it, it's the same yeah. process as the written test answer. So um, well, it is. It's still yes, at yes. twenty days. Yes. Yes. The remarking um, results are. Maximum yes. of twenty days. Whether you took the test um by a paper or computer, mm. your the remark results will be received within two to twenty one calendar days from the time okay. that we have issued mm. the official receipt, meaning from the time that we have processed the request. Because because mm, usually when we receive the request, uh, it takes about five working days to process the mm. uh, request, including payment validation, and then from the time. Okay. That we release the OR, for example, today po na release yung OR or in the process. Mm -hmm. From then, di pwede na pong bumilang. 2 to 21 calendar days mm -hmm. from that day yung release na. Okay. So that fast. Kasi years ago, it takes about 8 months. Yeah, months. Yeah, yeah months. Sobrang yeah. tagal, sir. But right. now, Sobrang of tagal. course, oh. um, we improved our services. I mean, this has been years already. So, right. um, mm -hmm. magugulat na lang yung candidates in just two days, may remark results na sila. Yeah. And yeah. remark mm -hmm. results can stay or can stay the same, which is the same score as what was awarded mm -hmm. to them. Or it might change, which would be, which always, which is always higher than the previous. Uh, higher. So, um, uh, once. Never a lower result uh, for remarking. Never. never. Oh, okay. If, if ever may magbago po doon sa result, they will be contacted and they will be asked to return the, their TRF to us so that we can issue right. one. And then their remarking fee will automatically be refunded um, in full. By a, in full naman po, sir. And if ever naman hindi siya magbago, so they will still be informed, but we will mm. no longer issue a new copy of their results. And also, the mm. remarking fee will serve as an admin fee naman. Po. I so, see. Yeah. All right. Okay. And is it <clears throat> like... Uh, what goes around among the nurses is that when we score under target for reading, the, the, the common reply to that is that you, they wouldn't advise for a remark. Does that make uh, sense? Yes, yeah. yes, it actually Especially makes Especially if it's computer delivered. Yeah. Um, the chances for it to be marked upwards are slim. Actually, it's e it's an whichever it is. It doesn't matter yeah. whether they took the test via paper and via computer, sir. Um, 
for the listening and reading part of the test, because your answer sheets or um, list of answers were already prepared even prior to the start of the mm -hmm. test. And mm -hmm. these are the basis for marking their listening mm -hmm. and reading test. So there is really a very, if I could say, a little yeah. chance for I'm the for mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. encourage them to... Uh, we mark the test, but if they insist, then we will, of course, we mark the listening mm. and reading mark, uh, test. So they can indicate in their remark request all of the tests. Yeah, they can they, do that, sir, okay. because they will For the pay same the same fee. fee naman po. Yes, I yes. see. All right. Okay. I and see. Um, unlike mm -hmm. before, sir, um, more, applying for a remark is very easy. It's very easy. They can simply log into their account and then apply for a remarking. Uh, even the payment instruction will already be given to them, etc. Mm -hmm. So all everything is done through their registration profile, even if they need another copy of their results. So yeah. all right, okay. Will a remarking affect an examiner's <laughs> status uh, or reputation, whatever? <laughs> yeah. Um especially for aside, speaking, like you get 6.5s uh, like we get a lot of students who would like that three marks yeah. um in all in all test components or basta pa mm -hmm. nagbago yung results uh, mm -hmm. examiner uh, they always check the, the local examiner who issued the score mm -hmm. but especially okay. for speaking because it's it's yeah, one especially for speaking. Examiner. um yeah. and because examiners actually undergo continuous performance monitoring mm. and they even do retraining um, okay. um, uh, in a specific period of time to ensure that of course they are they they will they are still at par with the standards and mm. um Okay. Part of the monitoring process is, of course, uh, the scores that they actually give to the candidates. And if, let's say, an examiner is uh, an, mm. uh, a remark result change drastically after right. remarking, an examiner, the examiner who gave that will be notified about it and will. They will. Okay. Yes. And um, I see. they will be, of course. Um, undergo necessary retraining um, okay. to ensure that this, that won't happen you. again. Yes, that's why nice. um, if the candidate is really not satisfied with their scores and they feel mm -hmm. like um, they should be marked differently, they mm -hmm. they can apply for a remark. And it's, um, aside from, of course, um, it would help them fulfill their <laughs> their I know their intuition or their decision yeah, yeah. and also uh, hopefully they would be able to get the bands for that they need after the remarking but it would yes. also help us ensure that the examiners performances are still at par with the standards well that's mm -hmm. only one of the factors sir. there are also yeah, a lot yeah. of things that we mm -hmm. do to make sure that we monitor their performance so Yes, right. It is really important for us that, of course, we, we as an organization, including examiners, yeah. practice mm -hmm. based on IELTS standards. So, yes, yes. Yeah, and the integrity of the IELTS is at stake. Exactly, sir. Yeah. Exactly, correct, correct. exactly. Yeah. Lalo kami here sa British Council, it's important yeah. to us to okay. make sure that we give quality test-taking experience of the mm -hmm. candidate from the time that they register up until the last request that they mm -hmm. give to us. So it's crucial na okay yung venue, okay yung mm -hmm. registration nila, ganyan. So every time na may complaint, may concern, we really need to work hard to ensure mm -hmm. that I solve yun. Mga ganun so, Right, right, right. How beautiful the remarking is, right? Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> What a benefit for the student. Yeah, they now have this chance, right, to appeal mm -hmm. whatever they feel was an unfair score. Mm -hmm. Bravo. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but then again, yeah, sir, of course, mm -hmm. it would be dependent on the remarking of this junior examiner. Because there are times mm -hmm. na walang nagbabago sa results. That means yeah. 
Tama At which yung, point, there is now no, no recourse but to accept yes. this one. Yes, yes. Mm, meaning, okay. tama po yung binigay sa kanila. Ni I see. All right. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> before I go into my last question, Ma'am Jessie, I forgot to ask about the health protocols required for examinees mm-hmm. earlier. Yeah. Whether it's computer delivered or paper-based, what are your requirements? Um, yeah. You know, in British Council, sir, we care about our exa- our test takers and, of course, mm-hmm. our staff, uh, mm-hmm. given that we are in a pandemic situation which we yeah. do not know when would end. Yes. So, in yes. all of our mm-hmm. venues, um, our we require our venue partners to sanitize the venue prior to the event and after the event. Um, mm-hmm. Specifically, let's say for IELTS on computer, where we do several sessions in a day, we make sure that we yeah. sanitize the venue before and after the se- of every session. So that would mm-hmm. mean uh, the whole venue, even the equipment, etc. Yeah. We also yeah. coordinate with venue partners regarding their own health and safety protocols so that we could okay. inform our students about it or the test takers about it. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, during the test, we actually provide sanitizers, alcohol, etc. to all test takers. They are. It is oh, also mandatory. Yes, they yes, we do, sir. Yes, oh, it is also so nice. mandatory. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's also mandatory for them to you to wear their face mask and okay. face shield um, right. inside the test venue. Although, pag sir, when it during the written test, they can remove their face shield so that it's much more comfortable taking mm. the written test. But the face mask is mandatory for them to wear or to okay. use. Um, meanwhile, for uh, speaking test, yeah, naman go ahead, po, go ahead. Yeah, um, uh, so, so speaking test, kasi sir, nowadays we do only what we call video call speaking. So we rarely right. do face-to-face speaking nowadays because mm. to limit um, interaction between the examiner and the test taker. So, um, mm. with that, uh, pag video call, ano lang, ganito lang sir, via Zoom okay. um, interview. Okay. But it's still mm. live. Yeah. Um, mm. So, um, they may or may not be allowed to remove their face shield. So, Ooh. there. Okay. Um, also, their temperatures are being checked. And um, as part of the IATF guidelines, they need to uh, answer um, health deck. So, uh, health declaration, sir. So, if ever, okay. let's say, they okay. fall under okay. the category set by IATF, they will not be allowed to uh, mm-hmm. take the test. We actually encourage candidates na, um, even prior to the test, if they already have symptoms, they already they traveled, mm. Um, they are under quarantine yeah. or they have been exposed to a yeah. COVID-19 right. patient, etc. They should inform. They should inform us so they won't be mm-hmm. taking the test anymore. They can request a transfer to a new test date or they can, of course, mm-hmm. cancel the test. We will refund the full test amount. Um, uh, and the fees are waived. No man, sir. Basta po COVID-19 also, mm. one of the precautions that we actually already implied, uh, uh, sorry, we already imposed during okay. the test would be for them to present um, any one of these three things. Sir. Right. Um, number one would be if they are already fully vaccinated, po, they okay. need to present mm. their vaccination card. And when okay. we say fully vaccinated, it's two weeks after, after their the uh, second shot. The second shot. Or the last shot, oh. sir. Because the last shot. Ah, yeah, yeah. Shot, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Two weeks after their last shot. And okay. um, if they're not fully vaccinated, they can actually mm-hmm. bring either of these things. So number one, it's a negative antigen result. Um, antigen. Just an antigen. Yes, antigen. Antigen rapid. result taken within yeah rapid test sorry mm, okay. um taken within 24, 24 hours from their first test component and okay. this should be done um in a health clinic 
kasi mm-hmm. kailangan po doon actual resort kasi result kasi di ba sir meron na yeah. din ngayon ng mga yeah 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 uh, home kits uh, ng tao home kits we yeah, don't yeah, accept yeah. that sir yeah. Yeah, it, it has to be, to be okay. kasi kailangan meron talagang document saying na document. Okay. Um, negative sila and then the other one similar din sa antigen na kailangan sa health clinic or sa health facility sir um RT-PCR within 72 hours from their first test component. So, these you, are for non-vaccinated. Yes, for these are for those who non- have yet to meet the two-week yes, yes, uh, pag requirement fully, after the last dose. Okay. Pag fully vaccinated naman, sir, they can simply present their ano, vaccine card. Vaccine card. Yes. Mm, and, uh, and... Ah, it, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but necessary, <laughs> but necessary, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, if ever naman, let's say, sir, um, COVID patient ako before, I survived mm-hmm. COVID, and um, mm-hmm. uh, it's been less than three months from the time I got COVID. Kasi, sir, di ba, sabi nga nila, may three months yeah. period yan. Yes, so, yes, yes. Uh, and some people, even though magaling na sila, pag nag-RT-PCR or nag-antigen test sila na no, for positive or mm. positive yeah. and then it affects yeah. their yeah. ano, diba? Their yeah. test result. I mean, their antigen or RT-PCR result. Yeah, that happened they to my can brother. Present, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. They can um also provide us a document stating that they have already recovered. Usually, it mm. comes from the LG user. Okay. So we will so, also accept that. Ah, basta within three months from the time that they got COVID. Mm, so, all right. Yun. So, um, like because this, sir, this positive just turned out to be a remnant of the virus. Yes, Still yes. Kasi may mga ganong okay. ano talaga situation, sir. Whew. So, yeah. and we fully understand that. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's really important for us to to make our test takers feel secured safe. and safe mm-hmm. oh, on the I day see. of the I test. Understand. Aside from, of course, mm-hmm. wanting them to pass the test. Kaya right. we right. want, we impose these additional requirements para naman mm-hmm. um, lahat ng tao na nag-take nag- na exam, even our staff, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. they will feel safe on the mm. day of the test. So I see. Makes sense. Yeah. And if they right. are unable it's to for comply, the safety sir, of everybody. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. And if they are unable to comply, sir, they need to simply tell us beforehand and then we'll transfer them on their preferred test day. Okay. Within three months from their original test date, sir. We'll be All very right. understandable naman when it comes to Okay. That. That's good to hear. And these are the world we live in today. <laughs> wow. Yes. I mean, two years yes. ago, we had, we had never anticipated. <laughs> wow. Yes, yes. And it doesn't Incredible. matter how yeah. many candidates we have as long as yeah, we can accommodate like them. Yeah, in a venue. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Like watching and, a concert. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And most candidates, they will only think about passing the test or no? passing the preparing test alone. for the test. Yeah. But now, but they're now thinking they about their to, health and yeah. safety. Like, yeah. um, yung mga ganun, sir. So, yeah, all of these and added requirements. Pala, mm-hmm. That's right. And also, sir, I just want to add then na, because, you know, um, test cancellations are evident nowadays. And, yes, um, yes. I and imagine, it might be, right? yeah. it might be frustrating for some candidates. And this happens, especially for IELTS on paper, not only in Metro Manila, but in all other places. But we please mm-hmm. do understand that we only comply with the IAPF guidelines. And um, okay. just like every test taker, we want the test to push through because we okay. understand your need. We understand there is a deadline, etc. Yeah. But if, let's say, a, lo- um, a, a location falls under ECQ, MECQ, or GCQ okay. alert level 4, then definitely mm. exams will be oh. cancelled. Because oh, exams see. are not allowed All exams. in these lockdown staff. So again, I that's see. ECQ, MECQ, and then GCQ alert level 4. So in Aside from that, yung mga GCQ, alert level 3 on, uh, pababa, I don't know, nakalipigipo. Mm. 
pa yung yeah, yeah, yeah. telephone mga yeah, alert level yun. confusing yun. already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, but um, we will From push through with this. From three below, yeah. Yes, All yes right. naman. So, okay. And we will inform candidates immediately. It's difficult lang, mm. sir, minsan kasi sometimes the announcements, let's say, will be done a day before. Yeah. Usually, ganun naman, no, sir? Yeah, so, oh my God. <laughs> depende po kasi kung kailan magbababa ang national government, IATF, yeah. or ng LGU ng announcement. That's the time that we will be able to make okay. an announcement or um, inform our candidates about it, yeah. about the status yeah. of their um, test. But definitely, again, basta po hindi MEC. ECQ, MECQ, GCQ, alert level GCQ. for tuloy right. po yung exam. So pag narinig okay. niyan at scheduled kayo to take, kunwari, mm. kunwari effective tomorrow, ECQ, huwag naman sana. Yeah. Yeah. At magtetest kayo bukas. Anticipate. Yeah. Anticipate okay. na dito oh. be canceled already. I see. So, Very clear. Yeah. Okay. Unless ECQ, again, may different LG, LG requirement, LG. Okay. That also Kasi diba sir, nagbabago-bago yun eh. Yeah. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Be so, informed naman lang yung lahat ng students and um, please be understanding yeah. also and yeah. apologies if we have to do that. So, yeah. We will accommodate you, every one of you, if you will be affected with any cancellation. Yeah, this is the time for patience. Correct, yeah. <laughs> All right. Final okay. question, Ma'am Jessie. The IELTS. I mean, bold letters. Flashing reds the biggest exam in the world. It has changed the language testing <laughs> landscape. It's turned it upside down like COVID. Okay. So what's the future for this incredibly important test? <laughs> um, <laughs> definitely it will still be here in it the will, next... It will continue to dominate. As long as it's being required by institutions mm -hmm. actually i also mm -hmm. been in the market for more than 30 years and yes, um, yes, I know that. currently oh, yeah. there are eleven thousand organizations worldwide and it's increasing oh, that are accepting okay. ielts tests and yeah. that's again globally so yeah we don't see it we don't foresee any stoppage yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of IELTS uh, yeah. in the next it's few to go years. But up. Yeah. Um, okay. IELTS will still be there. IELTS will still be the one to give you opportunities abroad. IELTS will yeah. still be the first step for you to achieve your goals. IELTS will help you get wherever you want to go. So, right. And, IELTS is a life event. You update that on your <laughs> Facebook account. It's like graduating <laughs> from school. <laughs> Pass the IELTS. Actually, October sir, yes. Kasi yeah, it's a the validity, yeah. Yes, the validity of the results is two years, kasi, sir. And within that two mm -hmm. years, let's say, magbago yung goals mo and accepted mm -hmm. the, uh, and you need IELTS, you can still use that. Um, IELTS again yeah. can, can help you go to anywhere you want. Anywhere. Yeah. I see. Whew. <laughs> they're gonna watch this interview over and over again. They're gonna go to all the apps. They're gonna go to the web page. <laughs> That's why, sir, you would still be very important the, in yeah. the coming years because you still need Both to help us. these candidates yes, yes, get yes. the band score you need. So everyone yeah, watching yeah, yeah. now, you can ask yeah. your Juni about their services right. and they will definitely help you the to get the band score you need before you yeah. take the test with us. And British Council, we are <laughs> their bridges to a life of unimaginable prosperity and yes. bliss. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, no, sir. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yes. Oh, we, but yes, we we're have, here to yeah. help them achieve their goals. Yes. Yeah, we are strong partners, British Council and IELTS Einstein. Thank you, Jesse. Yes, I think right. that covers the gamut of everything that there is to know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really Thank very productive so time. Uh, if you have added questions, guys, just feel free to post your comments down below and we will make sure to bring it up to British Council. Right now, Jesse, we'll bring it up to you and we will come up with the right responses. Correct, man? Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Ma'am, uh, contact is 
it's what you mentioned, right? Uh, if they yes. would like to ask you, yeah, they, they will, could simply proceed to, yeah. They can email us at British Council at British, sorry, ulitin ko lang kasi nakakalito siya. Okay, Our right. email address yes, is British Council at British Council dot org dot ph. Our website are uh, IELTSAsia dot org slash ph or British Council dot ph. Our Facebook pages are IELTS British Council Philippines and oh. British Council Philippines. Um, I'll share with Sir Juni the different links so that it'll be right. much easier for you to contact us. So okay. there you go. Thank yes, you, we'll have everyone. the links down below. Yes, thank you, Sir Juni. And we hope to see you, all of the candidates, in one of our test venues soon. Yes. And in your dream country. And Thank in you your again. dream country. Yeah. Thanks again, Mom Jesse. Thank you, sir. So that's it, everybody. So thank you for your uh, continued uh, support and participation. And don't forget to click like and subscribe. That's what vloggers are saying, right, Mom Jesse? <laughs> and hit that notification bell. And uh, feel free to post uh, any questions below, and we will help you. And again, uh, thank you for everything, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.